here with you and I'm here for the second episode of let's make a ton of cards out of one paper pack and it's a paper pack that has 36 pages and we're gonna you know use use it all up so but I'm not sure how how much of usage will do in one video but Noreen when she gave me the challenge told me that I could use it you know in multiple so I had put in this in a box the and I put her name so that I was gonna remember who gave me the great idea uh, so I'm, I'm jotting down how many cards I've made so far so the last video I made four so we'll see how how many we're gonna make this time um, I had put all the little bits and pieces together in a box figuring that you know I could maybe reuse some of them I still have some toppers somebody mentioned in the video um, the, you know how about using other toppers and and for sure the reason why I started with with those toppers was because they are already part of the pack and I'm trying to use up as many sheets as possible and some of the sheets have the toppers so I might as well you know use them up so I have two sheets I believe that have toppers you have that one and there's the other one that I had used up already which is this one that I've started using. So I've got four sheets out of the pack that are uh, toppers. So I figured I would want to use those and 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 you know start with there. Um, I had shared with you guys in my previous video the new sentiments that I had made, which is a huge bundle of 12 different sheets in three different colors. You've got the red, you've got the black, and you've got the green and you've got all kinds of different different sentiments on this these were the more traditional which is why i had put the um, the colors more traditional so those were the more traditional uh, sentiments this week i finally got myself done with making another set but this time i went more winter uh, because not everybody is into Christmas, but they like to send holiday cards um, or you want to just send out winter cards um, you know it's, it's gonna be winter for a while here in in uh, the northern hemisphere so you know maybe you want to send out cards for um, other occasions so some of it is a bit Christmassy but most of it is not so you've got all is calm all is bright snuggle and watch it snow with the different fonts so again it's a set of 12 12 pages um you've got let it snow warm winter wishes winter wishes winter wonderland home for the holidays warm and cozy cold hands warm heart then dashing through the snow baby it's cold outside and hot cocoa and fuzzy socks so I figured those would go well with many different cards. And then I have them as well in the dark navy and the paler blue. So figured it would be a fun set. Uh, so this is also available in my Etsy store. It, like I said, it's a big set. It's got 36 pages overall, so pretty big. Uh, but you can print them in any, it's a PDF. Uh, download that you're gonna have so you can print all the pages as many times as you want and you can choose and pick which page you want to print you don't have to print the whole package at once um, so this way you know you you can really choose what is uh, the, the best for you uh, and that's what we're going to be using today because I'm figuring that there's some snow ones in there and I, I would love to use some of these here before I get to that though, uh, somebody else mentioned how they really liked my really dark red that I use cardstock. And I got that quite a while ago at Michael's and it was this uh, cranberry cardstock. I still have one that's open, that's uh, closed. Um, it had come on special after the holidays and I had bought two packs of the 50 sheets. So I have one that's started about halfway through and that one. Um, I know I mentioned in, in, in some past videos that I'm not into purchasing multiples anymore. That would be one exception because I use a lot of reds and I use a lot of greens and a lot of white and a lot of black. So if, if I was to find cardstock 
on special that is just plain like that I would purchase that um, in multiples because I know I'm gonna go through it um, it's just the paper packs I'm not gonna be buying in multiples anymore once I'm done with one I'm usually pretty tired of seeing it so honestly it, it would be good to switch it up and have a different one um, okay so I realized I forgot my glasses so I'm gonna go and get those fast fast and then I'm gonna come back I really need to have multiple set of glasses so that uh, I have one in, in each section. So I'm wearing uh, my f one of my first, it's the first time I wear this one. It says uh, Christmas wishes and mistletoe kisses. I figured for the month of December, I'm going to be wearing Christmas t-shirts every day. That's my goal. Um, so yeah. Okay, so I can put that one away uh, later. And uh, this is gonna go with the other. I'm gonna keep that at home because um, it's when I, I I ran out of ink and I don't know where my printer ink is for the the studio. So I've got I need I need to find ink, and I f I thought it would be. Oh, I I'm thinking it, it would be fun to have some blue uh, ribbon. And I'm pretty sure I must have blue rick back. Yep, I've got some and it has some silver in it. That would be gorgeous on this. And I also have some other blue. And these are all sets that I get at uh, the thrift store. Like this one comes from a set of, that cost me a buck fifty. And it's like so inexpensive when you purchase it at the thrift store. But look at that one, it has some silver in it. I just think it's really pretty. Okay, so that will be what we're going to be using. I also pulled out some pink cardstock because I noticed that there's some pink images. So we're going to start off the timer. And uh, I also pulled out this because I have three card base left with this this type of of metallic i don't like these cards card base as much but i got them like so long ago at the dollar store and one of the reasons why i don't like as, them as much i find that it's hard to write in them like the um, when you write on the inside it's kind of smooth and not all pens work well on it and it's like i can't use my fountain pens that's for sure and it kind of smudges so that's one part that I don't like as much but anyway it's gonna have to do because that's that's what I'm gonna have so and uh, so we've got all of them trimmed because obviously they were not trim and one thing too like when I use my stamp on the back they don't stamp like it smudges so I'll probably not stamp these as Crafting Vicky makes just because it's, it smudges and it, it's really annoying. So I have this one here that I thought would be great. And there was another snowy one too. Well, there's this one that would be very pretty as well. And you have that, which is very pretty. So, first of all, let's use this one. And already that one has a sentiment on it, so clearly I'm not going to put a new sentiment on top. I just need to figure out what I'm going to do for it. I'm thinking maybe I should line it with some darker, darker blue. I'm gonna just do this really dark blue to the point where it's hard to see the mark. Okay, so there and here. 
because I don't want to use up the whole page. So here you could use a snowman clearly on this. I'm thinking I'm going to use um, maybe snowflakes, wood snowflakes with some bling. I do have some some of these stickers and stuff. But I don't know if I want to use my other snow my wood snowflakes or if I want to use something like like these. So let's see. Let's just start to assemble it and we'll see how that goes. And uh, then uh, I have some big decorate. I can I have some really big snowflakes. So maybe I should use one of those. Maybe I should use just one of those instead of multiples. And clearly I'm not going to be using the twine, but I would like to keep it because it's a nice one and you know I keep everything so I think that would be very pretty and then I could just use a big bling on top um, I do have some silver here so I'm just gonna put wood uh, wood I'm just gonna put glue on top of this because I feel like there's something that's gotten like fabric or something on it. I've put this in my Amazon, Amazon uh, storefront if you want. It was a gift that I got. Fortunately like in Canada it's really expensive in the US if you're based in the US it's it's fairly inexpensive so you're pretty lucky um, I just adore that was like one of my the best gift bestest gift that I got um, I just love that glue so much I love the tip it's just never clogs I never lose the the, the, the little needle which is amazing because I usually always use them so yeah, it was just a most amazing gift. I think just one of those blings. These, uh, this I, I reuse the bottle. Um, it's just, it's just little blings that I had gotten. I don't know where. Actually, they're just little bling dots. I got them a while ago, and I tend to not use them. But now I've put them like close on my desk, so I'll probably reach out for them more. How cool is that? And it's just so simple. Such a simple card, but really pretty. And I got to use the, the word uh, on it, which is really cool. Okay, so now for the second one. Um, I'm thinking I want to use that again. Where is the my mark? Mm, there it is. There, and then I could put it straight like that. Um, I 
I do have an eraser. I have a little pencil mark there. I'm gonna do it on the back this time. I'm wondering where is the start of this ribbon? Oh, there it is. Okay, I can put this here, this piece down so that it doesn't move anymore. It's gonna help. And then put that there and thinking I could put maybe one at the top and one at the bottom and then use one word. Uh, maybe let it snow. Thinking the lettuce snow would be good. So let's use that. Because I intend to use some snowflakes. So. So I just printed this on regular um, copy paper, like nothing, nothing fancy. And so because it's like really inexpensive and I, I love that, you know, it doesn't smudge, you can use it right away. Um, I just find that it's very convenient to have these instead of uh, having to stamp so now I want to put it right over here I wonder if I put like a bling you can put a bling on each side Let's figure out which snowflakes we want to use and then maybe I can use a similar bling on top of that. So maybe in a set of three. One is broken. I'm thinking something like that and then I could put a bling, the same bling that I use on the middle of the snowflakes. I could use it on both sides of the lettuce snow. Kind of tie it together. So let's do that. the scissors because otherwise I might hurt myself in the process okay so I'm thinking something like that and then I was contemplating putting one of those at the top here and one at the bottom so let's see how that would look just, you know, for added interest. You don't have to, but why not? I mean, it's a Christmas card. So how far along are you guys? Like, is everything ready? I haven't, my, my kids and my husband are making the Christmas tree today. 
Um, I'm working at the studio just because I'm so far behind in everything and I figured I would let them uh, spend the time to get organized and get stuff done because um, next week uh, I love one of my aunts passed away and uh, next weekend I'm, I'm going down again to Sherbrooke so I won't be able to make content then um, also I'm trying to get uh, more like while I was do working on the when I was working on the the studio and preparing the space and everything I didn't do many listings and, and things and my dad and my stepmom have been busy shopping for stuff for me for the the, the my Etsy store um, but I need to list all everything so been working I'm trying to catch up on that um, my goal is to organize the Etsy portion of it uh, the Etsy portion of my my space here and you know uh, list as many things as possible and then once I cut up on all of the boxes of stuff I've got to list then I would um, work on my crafty space and spend time reorganizing and putting the shelves up and because I still have stuff at home that I haven't brought like some of my uh, die cuts that are in binders are not, are not here I still have uh, some stuff in the garage that hasn't been put away um, but right now my space here is not ready for it so I want to get my Etsy stuff organized and then and then I'm gonna spend some time on my crafty space um, my intention is like on patreon I've shared the the making of the the space and and you know there's behind the scenes there and and, and all that good stuff um, for YouTube I intend to give you a little uh, studio tour but only the portion where I craft uh, if you want to see the rest it's like I said you just have you have to go on my patreon um, I shared with pretty much all the tiers um, some of the some of the tours um, and things uh, obviously the 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 ones that are behind the scene get more content that is behind the scene um, but I do try to post uh, to everybody uh, you know more updates and, and, and things and I shared the look of how the apartment looks and and all that stuff that's you know more personal um, they got to to see but I intend on on sharing on here on YouTube um, the actual my actual crafting space uh, as soon as it's ready but it won't be ready for a little bit of time unfortunately because I just have so much other stuff and with the holidays and stuff I have some gifts that I, I, I wanted to make and I haven't touched yet um, including something that's going to be new to me um, my my niece wants some earrings that are very particular and I could purchase them made by somebody else um, however I could make them myself possibly so I bought the, the the supplies that I need to make them and now I have to figure out how to do that because it's polymer clay and I haven't used polymer clay in the past but the reason why I'm doing it myself is because I would love to learn how to do that because then I could actually um, you know make stuff and, and sell it in my Etsy store which would be very cool so that's that's a goal but uh, yeah so I have that uh, I have uh, a calendar to make for my grandmother I was hoping to make a calendar for my Etsy store as well to release there and uh, 
and all the things. <laughs> I also have to make uh, to send out all my Christmas cards. So yeah, there's that. So there's uh it's gonna be it's gonna be a busy time. Busy busy time, but it's a it's a fun busy, you know? It's the busy that's is not renovations, which is is more fun. Honestly, like it's like when I do my Etsy listings and stuff, I just I just take my time. I unbox everything. I clean all the the items, and then I just uh, put on a YouTube video and listen to that while I'm doing the cleaning and and everything, and then taking the dimension of whatever object and yeah. So it's 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 good stuff. Okay, so this one could have a very bigger, a much bigger sentiment, I find, because there is so much more room. I was wondering if I have in my big sent, in my big stuff, anything that was in the blues, but not really. So, I'm not going to use that. These are all just wood stuff. That won't work. So, I, I'm thinking I want to use possibly this, the, the, um, all this calm, all this bright would be a good one. Do I use the pale one or the, the darker one? I think the darker one would be better. wondering I have other paper because I could put this on on top of that this scrap It's going to be too big. So let's figure out how big we want this to be. I want it to 
to cut back here and then about here so then this one this piece here I could cut to here and I'm just basically using the design of the paper and not adding all that much um, I could I have this bling here that would be pretty so let's do that And leave space on either side, on either side that I can actually use to put the the bling on. So something like that, and then I'm gonna put the bling. don't even have a cat here anymore but the I think from from the time where I was crafting in the laundry room the cat fur has followed me everywhere <sighs> it just gets on everything and sticks around on everything now it's so funny because now it's my husband that's that's uh, using the um, the laundry room area to as a as a space to he, he works with Arduinos which are programming things and, and whatever but and and you need to solder uh, some stuff and and then you you'll have Leo just just move his stuff around and and just laying directly on the desk to be to be padded Oh, it's too funny but I don't miss that part of having cat fur everywhere and here we go so we've got four minutes which is probably just enough to time to make one more card um, I don't think we're gonna have much time to do more I do have this he this piece left and then I have this here so maybe I could use that on top. Let's see. Let's see how can we do this. feel like it's too big no, it's too big but I could use this just like that and do something similar to what I just did smaller a smaller text
feel like that's too big. And I don't feel like snowflakes would work on this. Maybe I can bling up the stars. So how about using mm. for the holidays maybe that fits. I don't think it will. Or just a happy holidays. Maybe I can pull one from the other set. Or a season's greeting. Would that fit? This small one would. Okay, so I'm going to put this set away at the same time since my bin is open. And don't forget to go and check it out in the in my Etsy store. I would love for you to go and you can also get the, the original um, Merry Christmas set, which is a French and English set. I think with with this, I've covered pretty much all the the types of um, of sentiments. had the idea of making one that was gnome related but I don't have any gnomes in this in this um, paper pack and I'm not sure that I would use it right away so I don't know trying to multitask and do stuff that is going to be beneficial as well to uh, to my card making sessions, you know? Okay, so I'm going to put this down. And we'll have made four cards. So that's pretty cool. And we used two sheets. So not bad. I didn't use the pink that I thought I would use, but anyway, it's okay. Next week, this video, I could use that. Okay, so then uh, I was thinking of putting little bling in the little stars. So, something like that. Just to make it more special so that it doesn't look like it's just paper a paper pack uh, piece that I just used. You know, make it seem more like if it was a topper or something. And you, you know, I feel like if I'm making a, a handmade card, I might as well make it more special because 
taking the time to do it and I really want there's lots of energy and time that went into thinking about it and and that they're special that's why they're getting a card so those are the four cards that I've made in this video I hope that you found this inspiring go check out my new digital sets and I will see you guys then next week so love you and yep so we now have uh we're now december 3rd i'm actually doing this ahead i'm not the the day before which is cool the day before the video and i've actually made another four so we already have eight eight um eight cards this time though i didn't use four pieces of paper i use only two to make the four so that's pretty cool so hope you've enjoyed and i will see you guys soon bye